a couple of uh, anti-gun studies have come out over the past couple of days, and I, I like to take a look at these things just to kind of see, um, you know, what the, the anti-gun researchers are up to. And, and I've got some questions about both of these bills. So the first one, uh, coverage from Newsweek, which... I know already I've, there are some issues here, but um, this is the headline. U.S. states with stricter gun controls have fewer mass shootings. Now, when you're looking at these studies, the devil's always in the details here. So this is a quote from the Newsweek story talking about how they figured this out. Right. To calculate the number of mass shootings that were carried out in each state, the team analyzed data from the Federal Bureau of Investigation's Uniform Crime Reporting System collected between 1998 and 2015. Uh, a mass shooting was defined as an incident in which four or more people were killed by a firearm. The events were separated into domestic incidents in which the victims were a family member or a partner of the shooter and non-domestic incidents. Now, it's important to note that this was the definition that they used, not, not three individuals who were killed, not four individuals who may have been killed or wounded, not five individuals. And that's because with every number that you change, you get different results, Right. So why wouldn't they have maybe published the findings if you define this as, you know, three or more fatalities or uh, 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 fatalities plus injuries? I, I, I don't have the answer for that. Um, but I do know that when you start again to change these facts and figures, all of a sudden that hypothesis of, uh, well, you know, the states with stricter gun control laws have, have less of these types of crimes falls apart.